Hey guys, so today I'll show you how to easily create a non-recall macro on your Razer mouse. And this macro will allow you to have a much better precision when you're shooting, even at very long distances. Uh, now it's important to know that this macro is not detected because it's implemented directly on your Razer mouse with via the, the Razer software that's called Synapse Tree. And actually there's only one condition to use this macro. You must have a Razer mouse that is supported by Synapse Tree uh, and we'll go through the, the, the kind of uh, mice that are supported by the software. So I'll start by the end and uh, uh, so you'll have a taste of what your recall will look like once you implement this very simple macro. Uh, and I'll then show you the whole process and you'll be amazed to see that it takes only two minutes to create it. So here we go. I'm going to, to go to mid distance and shoot uh, without the macro. And you will see the pattern of the recoil. So I've just shot 30 uh, uh, bullets on the wall. And now I'll activate the macro and see. So at, at short distance, uh, there is almost no recoil. And you can see it in the bullets pattern. Now I'm moving away and doing the same thing. So here we're at mid distance now. The recoil pattern is much longer, much higher. And now with the macro, this is how it will look like. See, so the bullets are much closer one to the other. Uh, and this is actually what will allow you to be much more precise. So here you go. This is the gun I'm using. This is the Grow 556 uh, with a monolithic suppressor for more, more damage range and the sound suppression. That's nice. I'm using the Archangel barrel, which is all, also allows you to have like more damage range. Uh, you'll see that uh, 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 the macro allows you to shoot like very precisely at long range. This is also why I'm using the, the Cronen C480 Pro Optic. Uh, under barrel, so I'm using the Commando 4 grip because it has, it has recoil stabilization, which is not, uh, which is the horizontal recoil, which is not covered by the macro. And a uh, rear grip, I'm, I'm using the Void 2, uh, which gives a better uh, M down side speed. So before I show you the macro itself, uh, so it's important that you have a Razor mouse. Uh, not all the Razor mice are supported by Synapse Tree, which is the, the Razor software. So you need to have one of those. Uh, all the most recent uh, uh, mice, so the Viper, the Basilisk that I'm using, uh, the Death Adder, uh, that's also very popular. Uh, have a look at this uh, at this list, and if you have one of these mice, you'll be able to use uh, uh, Synapse. So here we go. Now, I'm going to show you the steps to create the macro. So you have to open Synapse Tree. You see a dashboard with all your uh, all your items. Uh, so first step is you will have to create a custom profile for uh, your mouse. Uh, so you add a profile, you can rename it. In this example, I re renamed it uh, Warzone Macro. <coughs> and one of the first things you'll have to do is uh, to remap the left click. Uh, as you can see here, it's great. Uh, the left click has to be remapped if you want a macro to be implemented on your left click. So I'll put it on button 5, it's not important. And you see now uh, the left click becomes available and I will be able to implement the macro. So let's move now to the macro tab. Uh, so what you need to do now is to create a new macro, give it a name. So I'll give it the name No Recoil. And now you're going to click on the little triangle beside the record button, select the same options I chose, so no delay, and start point mouse control. Now click on record and move your mouse to the left, click, go down about 20% of your screen, a few centimeters, and click again. Now go back to the stop button, click on stop. Now you have all your movements mapped and what you want first to do is to remove all the useless movements. So let's first find the right mouse movement. This is this one. You can see there's a small green bar at the left. 
and uh, if you click on play you can see also like the, be the behavior so it's a it's a straight line going from up to down all the rest we are going to erase for now so let's start with all the mouse movement in a, a pink i removed all of them now the only two things i need is a press left click and you release left click a, a events and you'll have to place your mouse movement between those two uh, the last two clicks are useless so i'm removing them and now what you need to do is to set the delay on zero for the click on zero and the duration for on zero as well for the mouse movement and on the last left click you need to set the delay to 0 0.1 so that's what i'm doing right now and that's it the the macro is now ready you see it's like three very simple events and now you will go to the right side and click on plus beside keybind select your mouse and then you'll you make sure your profile is the one you picked you click on the left button of the mouse select what i've just selected here and save and that's it so your macro is now ready to be used on this specific profile when you click on the left button of your mouse the the macro will uh, will uh, be applied I'm going to show you now at long distance uh, how it looks. So this is really far away. I'm shooting with my gun without the macro, shooting 30 bullets. Now I'll do the same with the macro activated. So I just changed the profile. It's pulling the gun down while I'm shooting. And now we're gonna see like how it looks, you see. On the left hand side it goes up like super high and on the right side you see the recoil pattern so guys thanks a lot i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you you liked it i'll start adding new macro tutorials for warzone and other shooters so don't hesitate to subscribe and like if you want to get more videos in the future also, if you play with friends, don't hesitate to share this with them if they have a Razor mouse. Uh, it's always better to play with good performing teammates. So uh, good luck to all of you guys and see you in the next video.